Now then, grip-wise, as we said, that left hand needs to go on a bit more. Yeah. It's going a little bit more, though, I would say. It could go a bit more, to be fair. But okay. at the moment now, it's probably in a comfortable position, so we're okay to a point, but the more round it could go in an ideal world, what we'd be looking for is I put a line up there through your shaft there. That would be sort of through the middle part of the top of your glove, so the middle part of your okay, left so wrist, let's say. That little that V there that your thumb and forefinger make, if I zoom in, shoulder. that needs to, uh, left as we look, so right shoulder right on shoulder. your so case, yeah. yeah right so shoulder. you've kind of got it probably more yeah, yeah. chin, okay. okay? So we get that left hand just so, if you look at that one there, it's probably going more towards your left shoulder, yeah. okay? So getting that left arm round is going to definitely help on a lot of occasions. Number one, it will give you more security, which will take away the need for you to feel like you've got to squeeze on for dear life, okay? If we can soften that grip pressure, it's going to be a lot better, okay? So you'll swing before going back. Nothing really wrong with your back. So as we said, taking the goal club out nicely. This was the issue through impact. Left elbow just disappearing now and there. Your left arm just can't function properly because you're gripping it so tight. It's got to go somewhere. And because the right arm, as we said, has to try and reach the golf club, this has to bend the old chicken wing to just make sure it can do that, okay? What we're looking for is when you get back to sort of L position here, and obviously we said the swing would continue on further than that, as it does in this case, as you come through, I'm trying to mirror that. That's a much better... Okay, so it's really head down too long, but that's something we can get to. But that's, that's, that's elbow low, whereas yeah. that's really elbow oh, God high. Oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. So the, arm, the aim for me, then, is to try and keep that left elbow as low as I can. Yeah, keep it down. So if you look at those two yeah, positions yeah. there now, look at the height of your elbows. Yeah, yeah. They're both level. Both level. They're both level, okay? But on the bad, on the other side... Both, both, both elbows level. Yeah. So that's the, that's the problem. See, Big see left elbow. So the left elbow sort of pulling up this way yeah. is your is your brain's way of saying, okay, my golf ball is going to do that. Yeah. So I've got to start it in this direction yeah. to allow for that to take effect back to target. Yeah. So by swinging it in this direction to the left, this left elbow is doing this, yeah, yeah. pulling it left, which as we know is going to weaken the strike. Yeah, You're yeah. missing it rather than hitting it that way. You're going yeah. as a glancing blow. Turn and spin on it. Yeah. Exactly. So get the left elbow to stay down, and I would practice actually making some swing with just your left arm on the club. Yeah, that's okay, nice. really be awkward because you're not left-handed in terms of your dominant hand, but just to yeah. make some swings like this, get yeah. that feeling with the left arm. That's going to give you the encouragement to think, okay, this is what my left arm's got to do, it's rather than pull. I will be taking through to get my dominant here. But work on that left arm. Grip pressure those me yeah. the biggest and most. I, I, I see straight away there when you said, and that's what I said. I'm, do you find when you get a lot of balls, your hands and your fingers hurt when you finish the uh, session? I get, get a, a bit tight and a bit. Fingers are a bit tight, yeah. yeah exactly. And I always thought it was because I wasn't got the right grip. <laughs> the right well, it is in some ways. The wrong grip on the, the gri Yeah, exactly. In some ways, it was the wrong grip, potentially position wise, but yeah. gripping on for dear life. Yeah, see, so when I first started playing. Yeah, I when was it's doing that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And there's no right. pressure in here, you see? No. So that's going to move all day. Absolutely. So if it moves, what do you do? And then I'm just. Up until a few days yeah. ago, I've been doing it that way. Yeah, I would try and do it. Rather than your hand being in this palm at this way, yeah. try and grip it there. So relax there, relax, yeah. relax. There you go. Yeah, yeah. And, and just that there. I almost feel that moving yeah, yeah. there. Okay, so there's a bit more, so gripping it there, yeah. more in the fingers there, and then you can feel a bit more movement, you see. But even if you hold it kind of round here, yeah. this just locks, every finger yeah. locks, it's just your wrist gets sort of twisted down here. Okay. Even if you grip it down the fingers there, it's still a locked grip position, yeah. you see. So might be a, so I've been doing this. Yeah. Leaving about half an inch. Yeah, well, you would, there, there will be a little bit. Yeah. And if I'm holding this golf club yeah. correctly there now, okay, the back yeah. end of my that fits yeah, there. Because yeah, my hand is. Before I used to really grip it so the end was inside so my hand. So if you look at the angle of my hand, my yeah. hand is. I'm not on the grip like that, you see. Yeah. So the back of my hand's not straight. Yeah, yeah. I'm that. I'm going to line up there with the club. So this is in line with the back of my wrist. So this yeah, little yeah. finger's like this on there. But a lot of people, they do that yeah. and then grip up in the life line up here and then they're wrapping their fingers around. No grip That's pressure. Where I was and where's the rubbing? In the glove. That's and guys, oh, my glove's broken. I know you, you just got a rubber, rubber golf club and then that on can be synthetic. And it's always moving. It's going to cause friction. It's going to go in there. So. But that makes sense. That's that's the, no, that's grip that's pressure for me is the main yeah. number one categorical that's thing. But left elbow down. If you can just practice some swings this way, yeah, yeah. once you get doing this, the ball's going to start going left. And then we can start changing the path. Head down a bit longer than we want to, but overall that's a good move in there, okay? That looks nice and fluid and nice and free, whereas this looks like the club's almost too heavy. You're trying to like... Yeah, yeah, it's almost like I'm lifting myself up. Yeah, exactly. That's why you pop a few shots, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, mate.